Well, a new ATF report shows a huge rise in criminals using devices to make legal semi-automatic weapons into illegal fully automatic weapons. IMPD says it's seen an increase as well, including in a few recent incidents. CBS 4's Eric Graves has more on the growing concern surrounding Glock switches. In the last 10 days, IMPD has found three suspects in various crimes with Glock switches. The most recent, a robbery here on Harding Street. While investigating a robbery, armed carjacking, and an officer-involved shooting all within the last week and a half, IMPD found three guns with Glock switches. It's a device that's put on a semi-automatic gun that turns it into a automatic gun or a machine gun. He is spitting out about 30 rounds every second at you. Investigators found this gun equipped with a Glock switch and extended mag next to a suspect who fired at police and was then shot near 38th and Fall Creek Parkway on January 29th. It makes it more dangerous for our community because so many more rounds can be fired in a shorter period of time and they're harder to control. IMPD Lieutenant Shane Foley says they're seeing more Glock switches and other machine gun conversion devices out on the streets. A lot of them are made uh, overseas and then shipped here and then they can also be 3D printed. In a report released this month, the ATF says it collected five times as many machine gun conversion parts between 2017 and 2021 than it did in the previous five-year period. These things are continuing to multiply and become more prevalent. Assistant Special Agent in charge of the ATF Columbus Field Division, John Noakes, says the switches can be installed easily and are very accessible to the people looking. Depending on, again, the source and the quality, we're seeing them as cheap as $20 as much as $200. Criminals are able to order these online. The ATF works to stop shipments of switches at the U.S. border. I did a Google search uh, last week and, and they pop up, right? Uh, so these websites, we're trying to go after the websites that are selling these. They know they're illegal. Noak says they're doing everything they can to proactively keep these off the streets and then prosecute the people who do have them. In Indianapolis, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. And in